the solution to this example. So this is all set up. We need to look there. So we're going to do a VLOOKUP. What's the lookup value? I'm going to look for that age. Where must it look it up? Here's my table. I'm going to highlight it. Put the dollar signs on. What column must it bring through? Column 2. And what is the range lookup? Is it false? Do we want an exact match? Well, can we see exactly 25 year olds here? You'll see it's not there. So in this case, it needs to be true. And when I say OK, it tells me that a 25 year old is in the category between 25 and 35. And I can copy it down. So now it's easy to report in pivot tables, etc. The other major benefit of this method is that we can actually now change these categories. So you'll see I've set this up. So maybe I actually want to see 20 to 40 year olds. So I'm going to type a 40 there. And maybe we'll just change this to say between 20 and 40. And if you look here, you'll see my categories have, have immediately changed. But again, maybe that's a little bit too big. So if I want to introduce a new category, I don't have to worry about anything here. All I do is I think I'm going to have 20 to 30 year olds. I can go insert a line. This will be 30 year olds. You would have noticed immediately some things were happening down here. We haven't quite finished yet. So this is going to be between 20 and 30. I'm just going to copy and paste that down because this is between 30 and 40. Let's just correct these. So that's saying 35. Let's make it 40 to 50. That should work out. And guess what? It's already done. 25 year olds are between 20 and 30. And you'll see over here we've got some between 40 and 50, some between 30 and 40. So it means that you can easily set up these categories and more importantly, easily change them.